Detectives at the Vero Beach Police Department say this is more than just vandalism. They're treating this as a possible hate crime. I'm going to warn you, we had to blur out several of the images and words that we found spray painted this afternoon. A blue swastika painted on the fence next to the N-word and a pornographic image tagged over the Star of David. I thought that my eyes were fooling me, so I pulled over there and I got out, then I looked. Joyce Robertson has lived here for four years and doesn't understand why someone would do this. I haven't had any issue with nobody, you know. I don't bother nobody. I stay in my own house. I'm a church-going person. I'm saved. And I don't believe in all this. It wasn't until police came out to investigate and photograph what happened that she learned she wasn't alone. He said one man had came out in time to um, wash his car. And he touched mine. He said it was dry. Ain't no way in the world soap and water would take it off. That's why neighbors are now helping Robertson to remove this part of her fence. The planks of wood will be easy to replace, but she walked us around more damage to her car that will also cost money to fully repaint. What people fail to realize that when you plant a bad seed, that's going to be your harvest. It's going to come back. It's more than this is going to happen to them. And Robertson says until they're caught, she's worried whoever did this will strike again. Right now, investigators don't have any strong leads or suspect descriptions, so they're asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. We'll let you know if they make any arrests.